The Anderson Family. Well, now, if that's the way you look at it, Oliver, I'm pulling out of the deal right now. You're pulling out? Well, you haven't done a bit of work yet. I'm the guy who stuck for the tractor and stuff. Well, I told Homer not to let you in on this in the first place. I tried to stop, Oliver. It didn't look good to me. Well, no matter how you decide it, I want every bit of that dirt moved back to where you found it, and quickly, too. Uh, not me. I'll sue. And take everything you have, Anderson. Believe me. Now, don't tell me what Uh-oh, you're... Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. <laughs> Now let's visit the Anderson family. Well, this whole thing started when Homer Meister, the man next door, tried to get Oliver Anderson to back him financially in a contract job which consisted of grading a couple of building lots. Mary, of course, isn't very interested in Oliver doing something which he knows so little about, but Oliver sees only profit and a lot of it ahead. Homer's been over three times, Oliver. Now, you know what he wants. Money, as usual. Well, a guy doesn't make any money unless he's willing to spend a little to get it. Well, do you realize that he's asking for $300? Yeah, but I cleared 200 That's not bad. Well, you haven't cleared it yet. And after you rent the tractor and spend two days on the job, you won't have too much. I just saw Mr. Meister down at the corner, Pop. Oh, good. I'll run down and see what he has on his mind. I thought you were going to spend the day cleaning the yard, dear. Oh, Junior can do that. It's not oh. bad. Uh, Junior? Yes, Pop? What was Homer doing? Well, I don't like to say, Pop, but huh? you know how I am. What a man does is his own business. Oh. You mean Antoinette, the waitress down there? Oh, Mom, you have a way of asking just the right thing. What's a fellow going to do? I, I refuse to answer. Mm -hmm. One of these days, Martha will go down there after Homer and find him draped over the counter with love in his eyes, and she'll close both of them tightly. I think the love life of the Meisters is none of our concern, Mary. I'm only interested in making money. I must see him right away. Oh, you mean down to the restaurant? Well, of course. Uh, oh, you have Antoinette in mind, huh? Me? Oh, of course not. How silly. I've never noticed her. But I do think she could wear her hair differently. Oh, you never noticed her. Oh, no. <laughs> never mind. Go ahead. Make the deal with Homer. Everything will work out swell for you until you try to get the $300 out of this house. <laughs> But, Mr. Meister, Oh, you know... look, I've been coming in here for months. Just call me Homer, honey. Ah, do you think he's proper? Why, of course it is. But you don't dance, do you, Mr. Meister? I mean, a oh, man. Why, of course I do. Why, every time I get out in that floor and whirl, people just stand around and gasp. I yep. can see where they would. Yeah. Now, some of these young whippersnappers around here don't know how to do the older dances. Oh, I just don't know a, a, a man. Oh, come on, I'll escort you. I got a brand new sweater. We'll be the most talked about ones there. Yeah. You really mean it, don't you, darling? Oh, it would be thrilling to be with you, George. Eh, uh, uh, Homer. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yes, yeah. Homer. But there's one thing worries me. Oh, shucks, we ain't got a worry in the world. I'm raring to dance. Yo ho! Tickets are at five dollars, and you know. Oh, shucks, what's money? Eh, uh, wait, what'd you say? How much? Huh? But. Like you said, we don't have a worry in the world. Well, well, now, wait, wait. I got a deal on with Anderson, and I'll have a few dollars over her. Oh, yes. You mean Oliver? Oliver and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, seen him lately? Oh, he's seen here once in a while. Always leaves a quarter tip. Oh, he does, eh? Well, here's my tip. A half a dollar, babe. Ain't a cheap bone in my body. Hey, I spend, I do. That 50 cents don't mean nothing to me. Nothing, no. Oh, thank you, uh, Omar. Oh, don't give it another thought. I ain't. Oh, here comes Mr. Anderson now. He must be looking for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Oliver, glad you come. Uh, hi, Homer. Hey. Uh, let's take this booth over here now. Uh, what's the deal? Oh, good morning, Mr. Anderson. You're looking fresh. <laughs> I am? <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, thanks. Uh, well, uh, Homer, uh, come on. Sit down in here, and I'll give it to me fast. Yeah. How much can we make? Well, uh, the way I see it... Never mind the way you see it. What will it actually make? Well, I give Briggs a price of $300 mm -hmm. to level off that, that big lot on Pierce Drive. Yeah. He owns three of them up there, you know. 
300, huh? Yep, yep. We don't grade it with our hands, do we? Oh, nope, nope, nope. I can rent a tractor and grader for $50 a day, and we can do it in one day. Easy. That leaves uh, $125 a piece, is that right? Well, of course, me being the contractor... I don't want that now. Is it no. 125 or nothing? Well, of course, I, I need your 300 for a bond. Once more, is it $125? Oh, dag, never have it your way. Well, where's the 300? It's home. When I need it, we'll get it. Yeah. Oh, let's drop a contract on this uh, this napkin here. Yeah. yeah. I pay expenses and get 125 back. Okay, draw it up. Money don't mean a thing to me. Nothing. Nope. Okay, that's a deal. Now, is there anything else? Uh, uh well, uh, uh yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, could I get a little in advance? In advance? Why? Well, uh, Marthy give me 50 cents to bring home some groceries and... Doggone it if I ain't misplaced it somewhere. All right, now let me do the talking to the tractor man, Homer. Yeah, well, it's my job. I'm the contractor. And it's my money. Shh, now here he comes. Yeah, I, I can get him to shave the price a bit again. Yes, come, come. What is it? Uh, I'd like to talk to you about a tractor. Well, talk to me. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, well, uh, we have a little job of grading to do, and I want to rent a tractor. Oh, I suppose I can fix you up all right. Do you have a driver's license? Oh, sure. Ever driven a tractor before? Not that I remember. Then that'll be $100 a day. Uh, but your ad read $50 a day. That's the price to someone who has driven before. Uh, it seems like a lot of money. Of course, if I got the tractor, I could get it for 50. Them things is like pushing a baby buggy to me. Huh? <laughs> oh, well, that's yeah. different. Yep, I can just snake them things around with one hand. Well, yep. then, of course, I'll, I'll make you the $50 price. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, well, that's swell. I'll, uh, I'll get your rental contract. You've never even ridden on a tractor. Well, there ain't no need of telling him that, is there? Oh, 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 oh me. Well, oh, oh, saves $50. Oh. Maybe I ought to drive it out, though. Oh, huh? you can't, you can't. I made the deal. He thinks I'm going to drive it. Oh, yeah. All right, there you are. Just sign your name and address right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you you take care of that small stuff, Oliver. I'll get the old tractor going. Uh, maybe you'd better let me get it out of the showroom. Oh, shucks. Nothing to it, mister. Uh, yeah, the man knows the route better than you do, Homer. Oh, listen to me. There ain't nothing on wheels that I can't run. Now, here are the rules. This tractor has to be back in the shop in the same condition it left by 4.30 p.m. same day. 4.30? Well, it's 10 now. You, uh, don't like our rules? Uh, well, that only gives us six and a half you hours. You want the tractor? Oh, yes. Here, huh? here, shut that thing off. Hey, how do you shut it off? Just pull up that little lever. Hurry. Hey, which one? Good grief, oh. right through the window. Homer, are you all right? Oh, dang, never got my britches caught in the gear shift. Oh, Must be an old model. What like do you this? think you're doing? Running that thing right through that window. Well, well, I, uh, I, I just took me a shortcut. That'll Short. be sixty-six fifty for that window. You now wait a minute. Do you want the tractor? Well, we, uh, yes. Okay, but... I'll just add it onto the bill. Uh, That'll be one hundred and sixty-six fifty. One hundred and sixty-six fifty. That's right. A hundred for the rental. Because, Mister, that spook isn't going to drive one of our tractors anyway. Hey, look here, what's your uh, name? Never here, mind, bro? Homer. I see what he means. I'll give him a check for sixty-six fifty, Mister. Okay, then it's back here at four thirty on another day. Is that clear? It'll be back in the same condition. Oh, brother, I wish I were as optimistic as you. Hey, hey let, let's go by the gym cafe. Oh, no, huh? that's out of the way. Well, well, I, I, I kind of like to wave at Antoinette. Look, we got work to do. Well, then, let us drive by my house. Marthy has never seen a tractor up close. Look, this is a grading job, not a parade. Let's get this thing back at 4.30 or it'll be an extra hundred. Well, then, open her up. Let's take in the money. Ah, you're talking like you mean it. Ah, uh, there we are now. Which one of these lots is the one? Well, uh, let's see. Hey, shut off that motor so as I can hear you. Shut off that... Shut off that darn motor. It's yeah. shut. Yeah. Well, now, let's see. Hey, the second one from the corner. Second one. Yeah, huh? that, that's the one right there. Oh, brother. You think we can move that mountain in one day? Oh, shucks. That stuff moves away easy. Yeah. We just got to take off that big hump up in front there and grade her back level. That's all, huh? 
Well, we ain't going to get it done standing here. Okay, let's get on it. I can use that two hundred dollars. Yeah, less sixty-six fifty. <laughs> Some tractor. Can we go over and watch him? Hmm. So Oliver went in with Homer after all I said. Oh, gee, Pop's progressive. Picking up a couple of hundred net isn't pin money. But your father knows nothing about grading with a tractor. He sure knows how to hang on to one, though, Mom. Come on, let's drive over. I know where it is. Hmm, maybe you have something there. Oliver driving a tractor. <laughs> Think I'd like to see this. <laughs> I thought you'd like to ride along, Martha, just to see what they're doing. Hmm. I suppose Homer will be doing all the work. Well, Pop was driving the tractor, Mrs. Meister. That's what I mean. Oliver has all the fun. And I doubt if it's fun, Martha. Well, I always told Homer not to take people in with him on his contracts. But he don't listen to me. Well, he couldn't have taken the job if Oliver hadn't promised to put up the $300 bond. Promised to? Uh, you mean he ain't done it? Well, not while I hold the purse, he doesn't. That's why I can't understand why he went ahead with it. You see, that's what I mean about Homer. He just ain't got a bit of sense. Because he likes Oliver, he gives his whole income away. Seems like Oliver would quit taking advantage of Homer's kindness someday. Look, Mom, there they are, up oh. on that hill. Look, Pop's driving it. Oh, boy, can I ride with oh, him? quiet. No, you can't. Um, I don't see Homer killing himself, Martha. In fact, I don't even see him. Like as not, he's got Homer pushing the tractor. I see Mr. Meister, over there under that tree. Well... Let's be quiet, dear, so Homer can see. This is humiliating, Mary. Can I go up there, Mom? No. We'll park here till he comes near the edge. Hey, he sees us. Gee, look how he's leveled that old hill off. Looks keen, doesn't it, Mom? Mm, I will say it's an improvement. Hey, what do you want? Oh, just drop by to see if you needed gas, dear. Oh, but I could use some help. That's just a slam at Homer is all. Pop's coming down, Mom. You ask him if I can ride. Maybe we can swing it. Well, you're all dirty, Oliver. Looks like you've been leveling it off with your nose, Oliver. Yeah, and I could sure use one more nose. Well, what's wrong with Homer? Oh, the tractor makes him sick to ride it. Hmm. So you're doing the whole thing alone, I suppose. Well, I have an investment. Only got an hour's more work, and then I collect from Briggs. Don't forget, Homer has the contract with him. He has. You talk as if you had it. <laughs> That's a good one, Pop. Junior. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. Well, I don't know how you can blame Homer just because he's got a weak stomach. I'm not. You're the only one complaining so far. He's already cost me sixty-six fifty with a broken window. Hey, look, Mr. Briggs driving up. Oh. Wonder what he wants. Anderson, you fool. Uh, who? Me? What did you done? Huh? <laughs> you ruined the only chance I had to sell that piece of land. I had that lot practically sold for fifteen hundred as is to Mrs. Crandon. Well, but Homer said degraded. He said you. I had... don't care what Homer said. I'll not pay you one cent for that job. I lose fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, wait a minute, Briggs. I worked five hours on that. Paid a hundred for the tractor. And... You see, Mary, Oliver's so stubborn. And not only that, Anderson, but if you want to avoid a lawsuit, you put every pound of that dirt right back where it was. <laughs> Now, back to the Anderson family. Homer Meister, the man next door, has involved Oliver in a deal to grade off a couple of lots for Freebairn Briggs. But after grading the whole thing and spending $100 to rent the grader, they find they've graded the wrong lot. And Mr. Briggs, the owner, has told them that they'll have to put every pound of dirt right back where it was. While Briggs is driven away, Mary Jr. and Martha are leaving, and Oliver doesn't quite know what to do. But you told me this was the lot, Homer. That's right. Throw the blame on Homer. Oh, well, Martha, oh. quiet a minute. Well, no, a fella can make a mistake, can't he? Not when it's costing me. Remember, you had the contract, Homer. Well, he ain't getting a cent from me, I can tell you that. I ain't asked you for none, have I? Oliver's putting up the money, and, and I got a contract to prove it. Is that true, Oliver? Well, well, it's only written on a napkin. Well, it's legal and binding. Legal, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, you get right into this car, Homer Meister, and get home with me. You ain't getting tangled up in no legal stuff. Yeah, but when we have all this work to do. I'll help, Pop. It's oh. fun. You do no such thing. Come on now. Get in this car, Homer. Well, uh, that ain't quite fair, Marthy, but uh, I am a bit tired. Okay, go on then. You mean you're not going to help Oliver? He don't want no part of it. Get in, Homer. Well, 
I think that's the meanest thing you could do, Homer Meister. Well, now I'm quitting under pressure, Mary. If it was up to me, I'd stay and work my fingers to the bone, just like I've been doing. Go on, Mary, get him out of here. Uh, this time is costing me money and lots of it. The Sixty-six fifty for the showroom window was bad enough. But Oliver, <laughs> why don't you just let the whole thing go? Oh, no, I'm in it now. Next time I'll not be so stupid. Okay, have it your own way. Goodbye. <laughs> I can just remember where every pound of that dirt was in the first place, huh? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Anderson! Huh? Somebody calling me? Oh, 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 yes, Mrs. Crandon! Oh, my goodness, what have you done to this lot? Oh, it's just a mistake, is all I... Mistake? Goodness, it looks like a lot now. Oh. Yeah, I thought it looked good, too. Well, now, this is a different thing. Huh? Mr. Briggs tried to sell me the lot the way it was, and I wouldn't give him a dime for it. He wouldn't? Why, he told me he had it practically sold to you for $1,500. Oh, well, then he misrepresented. It was worthless before. Well. But you've made a marvelous building site out of it. You think you'd like to buy it the way it is? Why, if he told me he was going to have this done, uh, I'd have given him 2000 for it. Two... And come to think of it, I'll see him this very minute and make him the offer. Uh, uh, well, you better see him before 4.30. Oh, but I'll see him right away before anyone else buys. Please don't do another thing to it. Leave it just as it is. Please, Mr. Anderson. Well, I'll be happy to. And I'm not kidding. Well, don't tell me you have every pound of that dirt put back already, Oliver. Nope. But you heard what Mr. Briggs said. Yeah, I know. Well, I must say you don't seem very worried about it. I'm not. You don't mind a suit, is that it? Remember, you spoiled a $1,500 sale by your mistake. Briggs lied about that. Well, I don't see how that's going to help you. I'm not going to put that dirt back, as I said before. Mrs. Crandon asked me not to. Mrs. Crandon? Hmm. Well, what does she have to do with it? She's the new owner, by now. New owner? I don't understand, Oliver. Remember? You, Martha, Junior, and Homer heard Briggs tell me to put every pound of dirt back where it was? Why, yes. I just want you to remember that. But the tractor... I'm taking it back. Well, are you going to believe Mrs. Crandon or Briggs, the owner? I have a hunch I'll hear from Briggs very soon. That's why I parked the tractor out in front where he can see it. Well, now, what are you gaining by that? I'll show you. Just relax a few minutes. Oh. Look over the Briggses and see if he started over here yet. Well, why would he be starting over here? You'll see. Oliver, Mrs. Crandon's coming out of the Briggs house. Is she smiling? Well, she's shaking hands with Briggs, and mm. he's bowing around like a banty rooster. <laughs> and the deal's gone through. I was right. Uh-oh. He's coming over here. I thought he would. Now, ah, he'll hear some fun. I hope you know what you're doing, Oliver. Don't worry about me. He's going to pay plenty for every jolt I got off of that iron seat on that contraption I was riding on. He's walking up our walk. That's fine. Now, you keep him here. Tell him I'll be back in five minutes. Well, where are you going? Over to the Meister's. Get those contracts straightened out. Is that tractor out in front of the Andersons yet, Homer? Yep. Well, it's his own fault. Keeping it another day will cost him another hundred. But it ain't nothing to do with you. And don't let him see you looking out the window. I feel kind of bad about this deal, Marthy. I ain't doing right. Now, don't go getting soft. Of course you're doing right. I ain't gonna have you working yourself into a sick bed to get that Anderson out of trouble. Oh, but I kind of feel like I got an obligation there, Marthy. Well, I don't know why. If he spoiled the sale for Mr. Briggs, let him pay for it, I say. Marthy, Briggs is going up Oliver's walk. He is? Hmm, well, now I guess Anderson won't be so smart. Well, maybe I should go over and help Oliver. You stay right here where you belong. I ain't having no trouble with nobody. Oh, but I got that contract with Oliver. It ain't ain't right. You ain't got it anymore. I tore it up. Oh, but that ain't legal. No, but it's good sense. Now you come away from that window. Oh, Marthy, uh, Oliver's coming up the steps. Oliver? Well, I'll take care of him. You just keep still and I'll settle this thing once and for all. Oh, say, maybe I better go. You huh? sit right still. I'll get it. Yeah. Well. I'd like to talk to my partner. He don't want to talk to nobody. He'll talk to me, and he'll talk now. You can't push your weight around here, Oliver Anderson. You ain't home now, and we ain't your family. Oh, no, Marthy, cool off. Well... Now, look. Do I have a contract with Homer? Well, no. No, you ain't. Just wanted to know. You went ahead and graded the wrong lot. Now you want Homer to suffer for it. Your contract with Homer is tore up. You mean the whole deal is off, Homer? Oh, you see what I'm up against, Oliver? Well, I just wanted to be sure. What happens from now on is no affair of yours. Right? Dems my sentiment. Hmm? That's fine. That's all I want to know. And of 
Of course, Homer won't expect to cash in on the profit. You heard what I said. What? P -p -p profit? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You mean we can still make money? We? No, just me. Our contract is torn up. Now, right? now, now, wait, Oliver. If you know something I should know, it's only right that you should tell me. Well, well sure, because morally we're still partners, but, but, but uh, not legally. Well, the only thing I can say is I was left this whole thing to be worked out by myself. My contract is torn up. I have no obligation to you whatsoever by your own words. Well, there's something funny going on here. You're right. But you aren't going to see the humor in it. Because I'm going to clear at least 300 on that job, and I'm not going to move another pound of dirt. Well, I won't keep you any longer. I have to go home and collect. I'm sure Oliver will be here soon, Mr. Briggs. He has to put all that dirt and rock back. That there won't be any need for that, Mrs. Anderson. Really, Millicent reprimanded me for my propensity. I believe this is Oliver now. Oh, oh, Briggs, I'm sorry I haven't got started on replacing that dirt. I have good news for you, Anderson. For me? Yes, indeed. I'm not the sort of person to expect you to do all that extra work just because I was in a temper. Oh, come now. I gave you my word. By tomorrow morning, that dirt will be the same mess it was before I started. <laughs> but I won't allow you to do it, Anderson. You won't? That's funny. You told me in front of four witnesses that I had to replace that lot as I'd found it. But why should you want to go to all that extra work? Because when I do, Mrs. Crandall will stop payment on that check, and you'll have another sand pile on your hands. Now, wait, Anderson. There's a law, you know. Huh. I can forbid you to tra trespass. Yes, but I have a contract, an oral order from you to place every pound of dirt back the way it was, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, wait. There must be some other way. There is. I want the difference between the 1500 which no one would give you for it, and the 2000 you got for it after I graded it. But that's unfair, Anderson. Okay, then. I guess there's no more to talk about. Goodbye. No, no wait, Anderson. You're right. Hmm. Mrs. Crandon did pay me 2000 for the lot. Which is 500 overpriced. Now, I'll take that 500 and we'll call it a deal. Going? 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 Gone. Gone. Hmm? You win. I'll give you my check. Now, we understand each other... I have to hurry back with that tractor before it costs me another hundred. Very well. Uh, you'll not mention this to anyone, of course. Not a word. Bring the check over as soon as you sign it. Very well, Anderson. <laughs> well, I will say you handle that admirably, Mr. Anderson. Mm, I can get tough when I have to. Well, I have ten minutes to get that tractor back to save that extra hundred. Uh, what about Homer? He's out. Oh, come now, wait a minute. That's right, he listened to Martha just once too many times. That's one chin concert he listened to that's cost me plenty. Now, Oliver, I won't allow it. Martha tore up the contract and has forgotten about the deal. I venture to say she hasn't. Oh, it's Martha. I gotta talk to Oliver, Mary. Here, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Well, come on in. Well, I hope Oliver ain't mad at me, Mary. Uh, me too. Oh, then you met Mr. Briggs outside. Well, we sort of was passing and, and stopped to talk to him. Oh, let's not break up that contract again, folks. I have to leave now. Well, now, Oliver, fair's fair. We entered into an agreement whereby we was to split. Is there anything to split? Five hundred dollars? And Homer wants his share. Okay, show me our contract and I'll pay off. Uh, show it to him, Marthy. Show it to him? You know I tore it up. I pay off on contracts only. Oh, wait a minute. Of course Oliver will do the right thing, Homer. But Martha tore up the contract. She's managed this whole deal. Homer's life isn't his own. He's henpecked oh. and browbeaten. Hey, you hear that, Marthy? Yeah. If that report got around, I'd be Ostra... Uh, Orsta... Uh, well, uh, shunned by everybody. Now, you looky here. I'll run my business from now on. Why, Homer, you're talking to your wife. You're dead burn right, I be. And from now on, I'm making my own deals. And you make yours. Look at what you cost me. But, Homer, dear. Oh, don't go putting on that stuff around, Oliver and Mary. Now, just get this straight, woman. From now on, you're doing as I say. I'm a good woman, I am, Mary. And oh, I... quit blubbering. Oh. Ah, well, we're licked. We might as well just crawl on back home. No, 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 let's not do it that way, Homer. Let's just go on through with our original deal. Oh, oh gosh, you, you mean it, Oliver? Me, me get half? That's right, Homer. That's the only way. We're neighbors and friends. Well, dear Bernard, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of ashamed. I don't deserve it. I shouldn't take it. Uh, how much does it come to? I'll figure it up while you get the tractor back to the shop. Now, you've got six minutes to go five blocks. You think you can make it? Make it? Well, I'll be there before you can wink an eye. Yeah. You'll be careful now, Homer. Oh, shush up. I can drive anything on wheels. Just leave it to me. I'll be right back for the loot. Now, watch that foot throttle. It sticks, remember? Oh, don't worry. I can just make it. I hope you ain't mad at me, Oliver, but Homer makes me so nervous sometimes. Well, why don't you let Homer think for himself? Because he just don't know how. But you love him, Martha. Well, yes, I do. Darn it. 
course, I could have married any one of please when he was courting me, but Paul got worried. Said I was getting on, and Homer was the only feller I had he could beat in checkers. Homer asked me to marry him one night, and the moon was out. the nicest wedding we ever had in Bentover County. Homer trying to smile and Pa holding me up. Who's holding your paw up? Oliver. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where Homer is now. Money's all divided and waiting here. I wonder what he's doing. Now, let's see. Uh, that's uh, 200 to net. Mm -hmm. I'll get it, Oliver. Yes, Mary Anderson. Mary, look. Tell Oliver I just made the showroom on the second. Oh, good. You just made it, huh? Yep. Well, hurry back. We have your 200 waiting for you, Homer. Uh, well, well, I'll just deduct uh, 66.50 from my share and, and tell Oliver to bring it down to me. Why, Homer? Uh, just tell Oliver I smashed that same dagnam window again. <laughs> The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Others in the cast were Jacqueline DeWitt as Martha, George Peroni as Mr. Briggs, and Jenny Johnson as Antoinette. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood Broadcasters production, transcribed from Hollywood. Hollywood.